looking for something to do. Hammer the video cast is streaming live for you. Hi, thanks for tuning in to another live episode of the Hair of the Dog video cast, where we feature dog guests, which is Eggsy today. Uh, we talk about grooming and a whole lot of nonsense. Um, I'm Hannah, the owner and professional dog groomer of Barker's Barbershop for Dogs. And I'm Ernie. <laughs> AKA the Pooper Scooper. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, <laughs> and together we're your hosts, Herney. <laughs> Herney. 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 All right. Um, please like, subscribe, or share our video. All right. So did we uh, um, announce the special guest dog? Yeah, Eggsy, our homeless dog. The helter shelter dog. The hel I call him the helter shelter dog. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been groomed. Oh, since our last. Hair the dog we did with him. Yeah, um, it's like if you think about it, you know, the whole story about the just shoemaker who kids that don't have the shoes. That's kind of the same thing with Eggsy. It's like he has a great groomer mom, but he, he ends up being the last one to get his hair cut. He's always the last one to get it. <laughs> so he looks, um, I hate to say it, but he looks homeless. So, um, yeah, it's Eggsy, the <laughs> mascot. His beard looks crazy because... Um, so he doesn't chew bones, and we found out why. Because he's prissy, and he didn't want to mess up his beard. So we gave him a couple bones a few weeks ago. He ate them, but I had to shave out like half of his beard because it was all mangled. So I had to put some product in it. We're trying to get it to grow back out full. <laughs> but it looks crazy. <laughs> yeah, I remember it was funny because like we literally are sitting there wondering why was his beard so matted. It was matted. literally falling out in clumps. So now we know why he doesn't like his shoe bones. Um, <laughs> here, will you watch him first? It was like it was like paste on his beard, and it yeah. just would clump up right here. <laughs> and then as we would shave it out, it would just his hair started falling out. So now, if you look his hair, let me see if I could change the camera angle here. It, now, if you look, this hair is a bit like, <laughs> like it's not good. It's not full. <laughs> um, so Eggsy, you can leave it there. Okay. Uh, oh, let me let me uh, just visit a subject. Uh, yeah, I lied to you. I said that we'd be on at 5.30. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when you have a child and a homeless dog, you have to corral. And uh, we're also experimenting with different camera angles and things like that. So the setup took quite a while. Uh, anyway, Eggsy here was the first. You could leave it. Uh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he sees that one. Gotta let us know. Anyway, so I posted on Facebook about a new product I've got in. I'm really excited about it. So this is the Dead Sea Mineral Mud Bath. Um, and now I can say that I love it because I've used it on him. He's so soft. I feel him. <laughs> He's never been that soft. Oh, yeah. And I also yeah. used our new whitening shampoo on his little white spots. And they look how bright that is. How Actually, did his funky foot, though, look? I was um, curious. His funky foot's still funky, but it's better. Ooh, that's much better. Check yeah. that out. So, can they see that? You know, here, like... I'll turn him around. Eggsy has the never-ending infected foot, so he yeah. has a toe missing. And this was, like, all, like, dark it brown. It was, like, pretty brown, so, yeah. And that the whitening shampoo doesn't have any ammonia or peroxide, anything like that. And it's, it's all natural. You know mm -hmm. how I roll. So, anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. This um, is available for online booking, the mud bath. Uh, it's awesome and it smells really good. It's got a tranquil mint scent. So, Eggsy got the full spa experience today. Um, so, he just gets the same old, same old haircut. I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing me groom schnauzers, but um, he needs it and we had time to do the video today. Um, so, I won't probably talk too much about what I'm doing with him. Um, he just gets a, a short back and a schnauzer trim. I was going to try to um, ham, ham strip him, but I don't know if that's going to go today because I don't want to be here till 
Anyway, I'm just talking. So what's going on? Is anybody watching? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not yet? Not yet. No, no it's fine. There's some people. That's okay. Well, it, it is kind of early. When we do these, we usually do them a lot later, so everybody's probably at work. Well, you know, if you were a good employee, you would stop working and watch our videos. <laughs> but what do I know? Oh, uh, if you are kept up, kept up, kept up, kept up, kept up on our Facebook page. Well, even if you're not, I have some exciting news. I'm hiring. Yay! It's so scary, <laughs> but I am hiring, and I have. Yeah, she needs to. Yeah, by the way. I, uh, that way I can get you guys in faster because it's looking uh, it's a little crazy and intimidating if you go in there and try to book. But don't worry. I will have somebody in here, um, somebody passionate, experienced, and I will train them to groom like I do, so you won't even know the difference. <laughs> and what else can we talk about? We have a... Uh, switch the camera angle. You guys, look at my head. We now have Barker's hats, embroidered Barker's hats. Uh, thank you, Stacy at Spirit Shop. These are awesome. This one's mine. The the ones for sale are a little bit different. They don't have the, the tiny print there, but uh, they're available for sale. They're $35. I have four left. Um, if you aren't able to make it into the shop, send me a message with your, with your address and um, I can ship it to you for like $5 or however much shipping costs, but um, they're really cool. I, of course, have to rock the camo. All right, AG, let's get started. <laughs> oh. All right, so what's, uh, what are you going to be working on here first? I just shave his back. Shave his back. <laughs> he looks like an Eeyore. He doesn't really care. But he asks me every day, he says, Mama, you know a good groomer? And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's um, funny because, you, as you know, we, you probably remember if you've watched this before, but we always uh, give the voice for Eggsy. And so... <laughs> He talks to us at night, but it's, of course it's one of us actually uh, imitating him or role-playing him. And so every night we always say, Mom, do you know a good groomer? <laughs> yeah, he, he looks so bad. I mean, I, I'm almost embarrassed. Thank goodness he doesn't come to the shop with me because it's embarrassing how much he's grown out. But, you know, we're busy. But that's why we need uh, more employees so that we, you're not, you can be able to have a little more time for, for the yeah, Eggman. the Eggman. <laughs> um, any other exciting Barker's news? Oh, there's a lot. I'm constantly, uh, you know, getting in new products. Um, and I'm right now my focus is trying to get some add-ons, some nice add-ons to really make your uh, dog spa experience or barbershop experience more like a spa day. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going Yeah, so what are some of the add-ons... What are some of the add-ons, first of all, that people have been like using and, and, so, and enjoying the most? The most popular is the teeth brushing and nail grinding, which I always recommend. I got it. I got it. And uh, the what did I say? So teeth I don't brushing, know. Brushing, nail grinding. Oh, and then the aromatherapy. That's a that's popular in the coconut oil skin replenish. Um, I use that on him a lot. That helps with um, allergies and dry skin, things like that. It makes the coat really shiny and nice, so. So then what are the new uh, add-ons that you're looking to? So I've added the, um, the the Dead Sea Mineral Mud Bath. I've added the whitening shampoos and some other shampoos that I've got in. I've got some for like um, certain skin issues and uh, things like that, but I can't really tell you what I'm thinking yet because we have big plans. And big things are coming, but I can't, I can't tell you them yet. Are we able to see if uh, people comment on this? Hmm. Oh, okay. Laurel Schaefer Sharp is watching. Hi. <laughs> there we go. So uh, October tenth. Downtown Lebanon, they they uh, they're hosting a what do they call it? It's the Pooch Parade. Yes, it's called the Pooch uh, where Parade. You, 
dress up your dog in a Halloween costume in their contests and <laughs> I don't know if you need a costume, Eggsy, because you already look like a grumpy old man. Eggsy. Eggsy would not do well in the pooch parade, no. let me tell you. In fact, it's funny because, so the pooch parade is like co-sponsored by the Sit Means Sit dog training uh, yeah. company, franchise. And um, the other day we were watching them as <laughs> they were training some dogs and the dogs were walking single file line throughout the city of uh, downtown Lebanon. And we were just laughing because we're like, you know, Eggsy would not be able to do that. He would be barking at every single dog coming by. Yeah. And then, and, and the sit means sit, they co sponsored this pooch parade. And it would be cool to have Eggsy as a part of it, but no way. He's he just, just, he can't handle himself. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we love him for him. We do. Right. Looking good. Much better already. <laughs> I know. So even if he just stopped right now. I know. Even if he just stopped right now, he would just, that would be perfect. <laughs> he would look awesome. He was so, I feel, <laughs> you know, I brush him and bathe him and stuff, but sometimes it'll be 10 weeks until he gets a haircut. And you know what's funny too is that, like, Eggsy, he's kind of like me. Like, when he, when I don't get a haircut for a he long time, I can start getting depressed. That's Eggsy. He does the same thing. And then the moment he gets his haircut, oh, when, yeah. once, uh, his mommy is finished. Enough. He's, yeah, he thinks he's a mo supermodel. <laughs> oh, we also were uh, completely stocked in t-shirts, so we have plenty of men's sizes now. Um, we sold out of those really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, I now carry youth sizes, so there's kiddo t-shirts. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there's, there's a number of people who actually requested it, and we had to order that's, yeah. how, that's how fast. <laughs> but those t-shirts went quick. Yeah, the t-shirts went really They're quick. Cool. People are already requesting that and t uh, buying the hats. So We have a new design now. Instead really of exciting. the barkers being here on the left chest, it's going across the whole chest. So mm -hmm. the new shirts are even cooler. Yeah. Um, and I also have fun future plans for the t-shirts. Eventually. Oh, so I'm just kind of brushing him up because we went over him once and now we got to go over him again to get all the coat even. Yeah, I like how this has seemed like yeah, it, it lightened his foot it a little It brightened bit. up. Yeah. And there's no bleach in it or anything. That stuff is nice. That's, yeah, that's nice. crazy. Whoop. <clears throat> nice try. He gets embarrassed. Wait, how come every time I get a spa day, I have to be on camera? No, he doesn't. He loves it. <laughs> no, he likes being the center of attention. Now that we have a second dog, Lily's dog, in the house, um, whenever we give her dog attention, Eggsy has to butt in oh. because he gets jealous. He's a turkey. He needs the center of attention all the time. So talk about a little bit of uh, some of the, like the types of dogs that you got in this past week at the shop. Types of dogs? Yeah. So like viewers know some of the different very, uh, variety of dogs that you work with. I've been so busy, I can't even remember what I did this morning. Um, <laughs> well, you said Karen Terriers, right? Uh, I didn't have any this week. Oh, I thought you said you've been having them. No, I, ha I, get, I have quite a few Scotties, which makes me so happy. Yeah, Scotties are cute. Um, Yorkies. I had two cute little Yorkies today. Haley and Finn. Um, little Havanese that I haven't seen in probably about a year. Uh, and they came, they found me, and I was very excited to see them. Um, Sunny the Newfoundland. I really hope that everybody's seen him because he's the <laughs> cutest thing I've ever seen in my Every life. Every time I look at his photo, the photo of him eating the uh, homework. I, I just bust out laughing. So that that Newfoundland, he was, <laughs> he's a he's a baby. It was his first grooming ever. He was so chill. Uh, his parents were saying he was hyper. He was like falling asleep during the bath, and then when he was done, he got all excited and ran around the shop and and picked up every little piece of paper he could find and play with it. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he is cute. Um. I could talk about like my equipment right now. I'm just using a 10 blade. I use the Andis Pulse CR 
cordless clippers, um, mostly. I, I also have a pair of wall clippers that I use sometimes. They're a little bit lighter, but I like to switch it up. Now, how close do you typically go when you're, you know, when you're shaving them down that, what do you that mean? low, like, what, what is the length? Gauge? Yeah, length? This is a number 10, which, uh, it's 1.5 millimeters. Okay. With other people's dogs, I don't take them as short, unless they request, but he's, he's so used to it. Oh, so because, it, it, like, sensitive skin can... Yeah, if they're not used to being shaved short, mm -hmm. they, they might kind of be sensitive to it. Kind of like if you were to shave a part of your body for yeah, the first time yeah. real short. Um, yeah. That's not always the case, but... Yeah. So for our yeah, clients, dogs, yeah. you don't want to take the chance of getting too close and they're skin sensitive. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Always try oh, he's got a little baldy spot. He does. He's got a pimple. Oh, gee. oh my! Uh oh. Your mommy is like your mommy is also like Doctor Pimple Popper on the side. <laughs> she, I am. I see you better run. She's gonna try to pop it's that like pimple. It's like an old pimple that I missed. <laughs> oh, Eggsy, his skin looks so good after that because he kind of has a little bit of dry skin sometimes. Oh, Bubba, you're hot stuff. <laughs> Anybody commenting? Mm -mm. I'll tell you. <laughs> so every time we do one of these videos, we're getting better, I think. Um, you want to grab a wellness rewards card so we can talk about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. All right, so this is the wellness rewards card. Yeah, if you want to talk about it a little bit. Looks like this. Anyway, so we started this maybe a couple weeks ago and it's finally catching on. We're basically, <laughs> which means I'm finally doing it. <laughs> yeah, which basically means Hannah's finally actually using these. But what it means is if you, if you buy five add-ons, uh, you'll get the six add-on free. And so you just, well, it's not all add-ons. It's the ones that help uh, benefit your pets. Well, that's health, yeah, that's well a good point. So, so, so see the back for included add-ons. So here are some of the add-ons that are included in this. Um, the aromatherapy spa treatment, the coconut oil skin replenish, teeth brushing, nail grinding, paw pad, nose moisturizer, and then the use of special shampoos. Mm -hmm. Now, when you said earlier that you were going to um, add more add-ons to the list. Are, are there also going to be more added to this list as well? well? Possibly, yeah. Yeah? Um, I don't really, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Let me see this real quick. Oh, uh, I was going to say something and now I totally forget. But yeah, this is what it looks like. They're actually really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's really neat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. You get it, Aggie. Yeah, you get it. It's been a long week. We're gonna be exhausted. Been. Yeah, it's been a, a long week. So how do you know when you're doing the down the neck, how do you know where to stop cutting? What do you mean? Like where to blend? Yeah, because if I were cutting, right I'd be here. Where his so, chest bone okay. is. So right at the, oh, I see. That's where you start to blend off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of, it's like that with the whole body of the dog. You start blending off at the bottom of the ribs or at the top of the ribs. And then same here, like you stop back here at the muscle and then you blend off to accentuate the muscle. and. So what are some of the mistakes that you see other 
groomers do. Don't get me started. <laughs> okay, so. When it comes to blending. You know, girl grooming is an art and everybody has a different style and that's okay. Uh, I don't want to talk bad about other people, but. I'm not talking about anybody specific. Your schnauzer <laughs> should not have a skirt this high. Mm -hmm. Okay, it should always blend off here. Um, it's up to. It's too long now, but it also shouldn't be this long. He's just overgrown. It should just barely kind of give him that definition. Mm -hmm. um, or like um, the beard. So some some owners prefer the beard short. That's fine, but if um, you're not supposed to, you know, cut it or anything. So we leave his natural. It's naturally scraggly right now. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Smile. <laughs> it's like mom. He's so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can easily tell when a schnauzer hasn't been cut properly because yeah. the skirt does not blend at all. It's not really supposed to be a skirt though. It's just, it's just supposed to be like an underline, you know? Mm -hmm. It's all about blending. Right? I think he's so happy he's finally being groomed. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like, this is a spa day for he me. He loves it. I love how, like, calm he is. He loves it. Because, for the most part, unless Eggsy's sleeping or just we're sitting around, he, he, can, he can kind of be an antsy type of dog. But when he comes to, groom, uh, to get groomed, he loves it. It wasn't always that I way. I know it wasn't. When I first started, so when um, Ernie and I got together a few years ago, Eggsy was relatively young. Actually, before we even got together, I, I groomed him. Um, it was a nightmare, but he loves it now. Mm -hmm. It's all about training and patience with the dogs. He just, you know. You never want to be mean to them. So. crazy because it seems really quiet outside of our doors because they're not doing those, uh, they're not closing the streets off no. on, on the weekends anymore. They stopped the uh, Mulberry Street closures. It's a bummer. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, we had our speaker set up. We had cornhole. Like karaoke machine. Yeah, we were having a lot of fun. But um, but it wasn't good for everybody, so. Yeah, and that's, that's understandable. Like that. A lot of the businesses, um, it didn't really work for them because yeah. closing the street meant they closed traffic as well yep. um, and potential business. But yep. one yep. nice thing with uh, with Barker's, however, is, you know, it's all by appointment only. And so. Um, and, it's, your eyes. and so it's nice because the street closures really didn't impact Barker's any. In fact, it was really good for us because yeah. they just gave us so many. So much exposure, a lot of people looking in the windows, wanted to see what was going on, and, yeah. and a lot of people booking on the spot. So for us, it, it was a really good thing, but we got to think about the whole business community. Yep. You know? Yep, yep, yep. And what's good for everybody. But we, they are still doing the third Fridays on Mulberry. Those, that's so much fun where they have the big stage. And yeah. I love that. I think last week they had, um, or no, this next third Friday coming up, they'll have Naked Karate Girls mm -hmm. uh, featured. Uh, as the I'm feature. not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a clothed karate girl. That's dumb. <laughs> what? It's been a long day. <laughs> that made no sense. Um, yeah. His nails grow so fast. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Uh, 
I exit. Yeah, they got it. Then I can't see still. <laughs> I'll get there, I see. We'll get there. That's like the last finishing touch, I see. Yeah. Those are eyebrows. I'll switch it. I wish we could play music or something. I know. What? Have you been biting your nails? <laughs> no, I'm not looking at the balls, though. <laughs> Eggsy. He's always talking about his balls. <laughs> Why do you gotta do that on camera? Eggsy. <laughs> So, I don't know if I should say this or not, but if you're going to trust me with your dog, I want to be fully transparent. Um, so, we've considered neutering Eggsy, but he has a request. Eggsy wants me to ask the vet if he, we could pickle his little testes in a jar. That's like his pride and joy. I think he even named them pride and joy. <laughs> So, he's weird. He's a weird dog. Well, I thought it was uh, ebony and ivory. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what else did we say? Uh, we, were just... we had all these names. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Sonny and Cher. <laughs> oh, but we couldn't because his Bonnie sister's Clyde. name. Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, it was Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> Why do you have to name your balls, Lazy? Oh, You're so weird. Dude. Anyway, enough about testicles. <laughs> so, <laughs> these are my favorite shears. This is what I use. I'm going to do like they do on the makeup tutorials. <laughs> these are the um, Kenshi Rose Gold shears. I love them. I had their big chunkers, but I dropped them. I had to send them off for repair, which bums me out because those are my favorite. So, that's what I'm using. And I'm also using an Utsumi um, poodle comb, I believe. I think it's a 10 inch. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna take any length off of his legs because I like his legs to be really full. Well, I'll just kind of tidy up his feet. Do you wanna bring the camera here so you can see what I'm doing? I wasn't sure if you were gonna mm -hmm. try to get up close pictures for people to see or videos. Yeah. Here. He needs some serious cleaning up. I sent off all my good shears, so I'm having to kind of improvise here. The ones I don't usually use. These are um, Mustang, Kenji Mustang shears. They're they're really good. They're just really long for. where my big blenders would have come in handy up here at these lines. Come in handy, come in handy. Look at how full his legs are. Oh my good. No, oh, I think you see the human. I think I've got Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie? Clyde. <laughs> but that's why you guys like me. I'm slightly inappropriate. But I love 
love your dog. Man, oh man. Well, there he goes. I think he's done with me. <laughs> no. Begsy, you're looking really good. He's a handsome boy, and he knows it. He's like, yeah, I know. I'd prefer if you were this way. That's all right. Thank you. I like when I get to watch her do all the detailed work. That's the best part. It's where I like really zone out. It's my favorite. He's so tired. It's hard to be him. It's tiring. Gonna go nuts. You tell me. exactly my preferred method of blending but it'll do what is your preferred method of blending blending shears oh, okay. <laughs> different scissors I want to get like a before and after shot of the finished leg like well <laughs> can't really compare that <laughs> <All right. laughs> Maybe we could do a before and after pic of the uh, shot of his front legs. Okay. That'd be good. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in the shop. Any kind of shampoos or uh, some, any retail that you need locally. Um, I'll try to get that in for you. Because don't forget, we still do carry um, CBD. We have a line of shampoo products. Um, I'm working on getting a flea preventative. And I would like to be like a one-stop shop for all your dog needs, so eventually I'll have some dog food and things like that. More treats. I don't want to do too much, but... So, it's a nice day out. Fall is happening. 
I can feel it in the air. The kid is back in school. She's loving it. We're loving it. Um, yeah, it's so quiet out there. It's bizarre, isn't it? We're so used to having mm -hmm. party on the block. a distant crying noise. That's my child. She's bored to death. What's your favorite breed of dog? Or human? My favorite breed of dog is a schnauzer, giant schnauzer. I love um, Doberman Pinschers mm. and Great Danes. Oh, yeah. um, but if I ha could just stick with one breed for the rest of my life, it would be a miniature schnauzer yeah. or a, and I'd love to get a giant schnauzer. I never thought, like in the past, I never saw myself owning a miniature schnauzer, but I, I honestly, I couldn't imagine my life without him. <laughs> He's just the best, the best little dog. It takes a lot. I'm not really taking length off. <laughs> it takes an awful long time to make it look Push his eyebrows back. And grease them back or something. Oops. Mm -hmm. my, okay, so let me answer my question to you. <laughs> Delayed reaction. My favorite breed of dog that I've ever owned, um, this little guy, miniature schnauzer, hands down. Um, I really love boxers. Um, my favorite dogs to groom, all of them, but I, I kind of, I just especially love golden retrievers. They're, they, they just love being groomed. And of course, any kind of terrier. They're so cute. Really, I love them all. It's hard to pick.
<laughs> you get him, Andy. Yes, you get him. Our neighbor spies on us. He always looks in here at the like worst times too when when I look like I'm doing something awkward. Alright, you want to get a before and after shot of the front legs? I think they're not perfect, but I could I could seriously spend hours and hours trying to make it look perfect. But so there's the before and after. Look at the difference between these two. Can you spread the legs out? There you go. Look at the difference between these two legs. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I could just fiddle around on it forever to make it totally perfect, but yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? It does. Eggsy, you're looking cute. You are so handsome. And then this foot's easy. You want to get a close-up of this funky foot? <laughs> Issues. Okay. Do you want to come behind me, maybe? I can't do both. Yeah, well. So this is his funky This is foot. the funky foot. <laughs> There's really not much to do to it. They, they, the vet partially shaved it. I mean, it's literally been two, over two years of this foot just not... He's missing a toe. He's a hot mess. your dog is matted, take a comb like this oh. and try to put it through your dog's coat. If it doesn't go through, your dog's matted. <laughs> Just hang on. That's how you can tell. Really should start learning to eat dinner before we do these videos. Yeah, I, I was just about <laughs> like to so, tell you. We're so I'm quiet because like, we're hungry. Next time we're gonna do this after we eat because I'm starved and I when I when I get hungry I don't like to talk. Yeah. <laughs> well, same way. We get hungry. difference yeah I think so it looks I, I washed him first with my everyday shampoo which I love uh, but it, it's not a whitening shampoo and he was still really stained so he kind of gets yellow and green and brown <laughs> everywhere um, yeah this is amazing I'm so happy I'm very very happy with the results of that and the mud treatment too oh man they're so soft
must be starving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Usually Friday nights we try to eat at the local pizza place, which I highly recommend. Bellagio is so good. Um, we're trying to lose some belly fat, so tonight salmon's on the menu. Not the UAV. Anybody else having allergies? Man, it's like during COVID, I'm scared to like say I'm stuffy, but I think you could still get sick sick, like regular sick. I don't think it has to be COVID. I, I get allergies bad. I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to dogs, but you know, the sacrifices we make. I think if you're really allergic to dogs, you know it. You like stop incessantly and get oh, hives and <laughs> yeah. Well, there are some dogs like the uh, like double coated dogs when I blow them out, and because there's so much dirt and stuff underneath all their hair that's like blowing in my face. Yeah, it gets bad. <laughs> Hold his head. I think he's falling asleep. Just like this. He's so tired. He's stressed out. Are you stressed? Doesn't look like it. I hate to brag on myself, but I do have an awful lot of dogs that fall asleep during grooming here. It's so, it's so quiet and peaceful. Actually, I love bragging on myself. I'm the best. <laughs> Let's see if I can circle around and get a better shot. He is a natural on camera. He is. Look at this foot. It just looks crazy. Which one? This one? His funky foot. <laughs> I think Eggsy has OCD with it. That's why it keeps getting he does. infected. He just won't leave it alone. He won't stop licking it. He has phantom toe syndrome. Don't you? Yes. We have to tell the whole world about my toe. He's falling asleep. He can't hear anyway. Look at him. <laughs> Wake up! Eggsy, you're looking handsome. Finally. You're going to look like you belong to a family. He just does his own little thing. Fans out every once. I let him get away. <laughs> look at your legs, Eggsy. Look at those columns you got I know, there. I love it. If only your beard didn't tear away. It's your like face. <laughs> so spriggy. It's like two little hairs on his beard. Uh -huh. What happened to it? Like that's why I don't eat bones, guys. But you made me do it. So that whole time he's just conscious about his beard health. That doesn't even make sense. See, so yeah, I'm talking nonsense. Oh! He used to look me in the eyes. I think sometimes. Very intimate. Mm -hmm. I think he's over it. Are you over it? I'm 
not too happy. How tired can he be? I, I don't understand. How tired can you possibly be? You've slept all day. I'm tired. I am too. Like I get tired watching you guys be tired. Yeah, he's a, he's an empath. <laughs> but only with one emotion. Exhaustion. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna call it. That's good enough. Good enough on the legs, I say. You're no show dog today. here gives these tiny little kisses and he never kisses your mouth it's always your nose let me kiss mm. I'm stingy mm. Who's a good boy? <laughs> he's nubbing his oh. tail oh, almost done almost done has to be perfect Nobody's favorite thing to do. I think somebody's out there playing drums. Yeah, I bet you uh, Jeff has his shop open and he's probably playing some drums out. Yeah. That's always fun. Mm hmm. You're like mesmerized, mm -hmm. but also I think you're whittling away to nothing. I'm you're whittling. So hungry. Yep, I don't do well with no food. Who does? I think next time what we'll do is we'll we'll go home, eat, <laughs> and then come back and and yeah, have a drink. <laughs> well, you can have a drink. Probably shouldn't be drinking and grooming, I don't know. No. Probably not a good idea. What do you think, Eggsy? Yeah, please don't. <laughs> please don't. Please don't, guys. Wait. He's trying to look at you. Behind me for a second. Mm -hmm. Trying to get his eyebrows, but he he wants to see what you're doing. No, 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 no. There. Look at how long they are. Yeah. I like it. They look amazing. 
What are you doing, turkey? You finally gonna be able to see. He's gonna have like weird sticky uppy parts because I'm trying to let a certain spot grow back. There's eyeballs under there. how calm he is. I mean, like... I mean, his eyes aren't even open. If I was going at him with <laughs> some scissors, he'd be like... Well, the, I think that's <laughs> why, like, when people try to groom their dogs at home and their dog doesn't act right for them, I think it's because they're worried. <laughs> like, why are you coming at me with scissors? You don't know what to do with those. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to leave them long like this. I like it. I like it, too. They're real long. He's got a hot date tonight. With what, the bed? With the raccoons. <laughs> With the bed. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much all he does. Well, he has to wear a cone now, so he's all pitiful at night. I like them long. Really long. Yes! Look at you! Looking. Looks like his beard got whitened a little bit. I put it on his beard too, so. You know? Yeah. I think it did. This part here is going to look weird because I'm trying to get that to grow back, so I'm trying to get it to grow down. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you wouldn't have noticed unless I pointed it out. Know. So. You're so cute. Okay, that's the finished look. That's sh the schnoz. Look how see cute it? he is. Exit, look over here. There you are. There you are. Exit. <laughs> Let me give him a little spritz. So majestic. Oh, uh, before we go, I got my, um, this, this month's Bardell bow box. So we're going to put a little bow tie on. Help me pick one out. Let's see. Oh, they're, they're all kind of girly. Oh. Yeah, uh. Is that for you? Okay, uh, so I think that pretty much sums it up. He's all done. Um, make sure to... Oh, sorry, I was in the middle of talking and then I found something I need to do. Um, there we go. Try to get back on here next week. Um, hopefully we'll have a guest, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye. If you're sitting at home like an up and a love, looking for something to do, hammer it up, video cast a stream of love. Ta-